Well, home for the holidays, it's where everyone wants to be, but some people aren't able to be home for the Christmas season. So one Savannah group is doing its part to make sure men and women in the military have a little piece of home delivered to them. WJCL's Ashley Leotis was in Rankin today and caught up with the kids who are giving back to our military. The kids from Team Universe Cheer in Rankin came together to stuff stockings. They will be sent to the Rangers deployed overseas from Hunter Army Airfield. It's a little piece of home that they can have with them for the holidays. Men and women of the military will not be home for the holidays. It's the reality that many people in this military community face each year. But this holiday, Team Universe Cheer in Rankin is doing something to change all that and deploying a little Christmas spirit of its own. We just wanted to uh, give back to the community, um, so we decided to participate in the stuffing stockings for our troops overseas. The kids stuffed 200 stockings that will ship out this week, giving them plenty of time to meet up with the troops in time for Christmas. They're not going to be able to be home with their family over Christmas, so we wanted to send them a little piece of home and just give them a little bit of token of our appreciation of serving our country and protecting us. A stocking that travels thousands of miles must be carefully planned. So what will the men and women of the military find inside their stockings this year? Beef jerky, toothpaste, razors, shaving cream, lotion, things like that. The troops may be receiving much appreciated gifts, but Price tells me the girls will be receiving something as well. I want to teach my girls that it's important to give back, give back to the community, always you know, doing things for other people instead of yourself all the time. The girls say this is their way of giving back to the men and women who fight for freedom every day. We aren't able to physically go up to these soldiers and tell them how we thank them for their service. So this is actually the least we can do to let them know we are very appreciative for fighting for our country. Merry Christmas, the gym just opened in May, so this is their first stocking stuffer event. The owner tells me he hopes to make this an annual thing. Reporting in the studio, Ashley Liotis, WJCL News, working for you.